People are always asking me, they say, Aaron, how the hell have you come up with 1,600 videos? Have you not run out of things to talk about? I'm like, no. Actually, I've got a list of like 400 topics that I actually want to do. Um, Content is not my issue, time is. But one of the things that I do when I get a great idea, I'll jot it down in a notebook. I've got a list of video ideas. Sometimes the ideas end up as entire videos, but other times the ideas are small, right? I'm like, ah, not, not now. There are other things that I want to cover. And so I decided today to put together 20 of those small little ideas, things that I want to mention but I don't want to necessarily spend a whole lot of time on. So today I give you 20 solid style tips. Please note that these are in no specific order, but we're going to kick it off with number one. Never wear a tie and pocket square that comes together as a set together in the same outfit. Meaning if you got a gift or you go and you're shopping, you're like, wow, I love that tie. Look at that. It comes with a pocket square. Never wear it together. All right. You want to coordinate. You don't want to be too matchy matchy. Tip number two, always go with a two button suit as an option. I know they sell more, I know they sell less. If you go with two, you're always going to be in style. Number three, bow ties are are conversation starters, all right? You see a guy, he walks in, he's got a bow tie on, you want to talk to him. Well, so do the women. Gentlemen, bow ties. It might not be your thing, but you should try it. I'm telling you, it's definitely going to impact your social life in a positive way. Tip number four, match your tie width to your lapel width, all right? If you've got big, fat lapels, don't wear a super skinny tie. And on the flip side, if you got a super skinny lapel, go with a thinner tie. Not super fat. They've got to coordinate. They've got to balance. Balance. Tip number five, I'm talking all you business casual dudes out there, all khaki pants were not created equal. They come in different cuts, different fits. Make sure you find one that fits you properly. Tip number six, match your tie knot to your collar size. Big collar, big knot. Small little pointed collar, small little pointed knot. Tip number seven, big baggy pants make you look short. Tip number eight, big bulky shoes make you look like a dope. Tip number nine, general rule. Your dress belt and dress shoes should match in both leather color as well as finish. Tip number 10, avoid shirts with big, bold logos. And tip number 11, remember, jeans with bling on the pocket are no longer stylish. Tip number 12, power players do not wear zany socks. The zaniest the sock should be, I would say, would be Argyle. Now, I'm not saying that great socks aren't fun, that you shouldn't wear them. But if you are looking to be taken seriously, Seriously, in the professional world, don't wear socks with clowns on them. Tip number 13, when suit shopping, size down. Try the smaller size. If the sales associate helps and measures you, tells you you're a 44, try the 42. What you're going to find in most cases is that that is going to give you a better silhouette, a better fitting jacket, all right? Try it. If it's too tight, you can always size back, but it doesn't hurt to give it a shot. Since we're talking about suits, you know that one of my style pet peeves is number 14. Remove the stitch, that X, on the back where the vents are. Tip number 15 has to do with accessories. Rings, one per hand, please. Meaning, don't wear multiple rings on a single hand. Number 16, don't wear dress shirts untucked. So many of you guys are like, whatever, it's a dress shirt, but I'm going to wear it untucked. It's too long. It's always too long. Dress shirts, by their simple nature of being dress shirts and wanting to be tucked in, being designed to be tucked in, they're going to be longer. So they, uh, blah, blah, blah. see, I get all fired up with this one. So that they don't come untucked. All right, now, if you want to wear a shirt that looks like a dress shirt untucked, you should probably think about getting one that is custom or taking it to a tailor, having it modified, but a straight up dress shirt is going to be too long to be worn untucked. Number 17, fitted. Hear me, fitted. Fitted, the, say it with me, fitted doesn't mean tight, all right? It simply means that they're cutting out some of the extra fabric and designing that shirt to be more contoured to the human body. Number 18, never try to match a black sport coat with black pants. It doesn't work. Number 19, sunglasses. They need to come off your face upon entering a building, any building. It doesn't matter. Come off. Three, you got three steps. Ready? Check it. One, two, three, boom. Off. Huh? Yes. Uh, more than that, and you run the risk. It's not even running a risk. You look like a total douche. And number 20, funny ties just aren't funny. They're not, unless there's a, like a theme party and somebody told you specifically, hey, Johnny, wear your funniest tie, then it's okay. But if you're just wearing it as a statement, 
It's not funny. And that's it. 20 solid, simple style tips. All right, look them over, implement where you need to, but I'm sure that most of you got it under control.